Hello, everybody. This is Yoko's Band of Enemy Reactions, and it's a little quiet right now, so... Me! Yeah. You know how long that'll last. And this is going to be my review for Fairy Tale Episode 25. You've heard the drill before. I'm uploading them because I'm trying to avoid the copyright strikes, and those are going up a bit shoot. So, yeah. Anyway, this essentially is the fight between Grey and Juvia. And this is where Juvia's fascination and infatuation with Grey starts. And I think it's gotten bigger over the course of the series so far that I've seen. Because she used to just watch him from afar and be like a creepy stalker. But now she's joined. Essentially, she will end up joining the Fairy Tale Guild and essentially just still be her creepy fangirl self. And Grace still isn't giving her a lick of attention at this point. Anyway, yeah, this is essentially where we get uh, some backstory on Juvia and her how her life went because her whole life it seemed that it was raining and partly was due to the weather itself, you know, you can't control that. But part of it for the most part was due to her magic and I guess her emotions because she could not control it. She couldn't make it stop. So every time she went out it was raining and everybody around her complained about it. And that's how she got the nickname Juvia the Rain Woman. And No, you're not coming to my room. You're not getting any candy. Please go see your mama. Jackson, put that up. No, no, no. It's my, my, my. You never should have gotten it in the first place. Well, that was a mistake. I knew the quiet wasn't going to last. Anyway, uh, Gray actually manages to win against her by not only, you know, fighting, but what he ends up saying to her just makes her mind go right to the gutter and she passes out with a smile on her face and actually stops raining at that point. So yeah, at this point now, the rain is no longer affected by her magic or her emotions or whatever, so it just rains like normal when it's the weather. It's not her magic anymore. So, yeah, this is the point where I think Juvia ends up stopping becoming a enemy because now she's infatuated with Greg, and this, like I said, this infatuation continues throughout the whole show. Whether they actually hook up or not, still up in the air at this point, since I'm not done with the show yet. Anyway, uh... I'll get this uploaded, and I'll get the other stuff uploaded, and I will see you guys next time.